Eric the actor, you're on the air. But you got I, I can't spend a lot of time with you today, Eric. I, I was just calling because I was calling because you know what Shuli said yesterday. Even though he apologized, still has me a bit pissed off because you know I do these shows. I go to them. I enjoy being at them. And two of the t- times that I've done them this year, I've got people, either fans or him, talk and shit about me afterward. Okay, me, so thank Eric, you. Eric, you've <laughs> never you've never called up and been an asshole to anyone here on the phone. You've never said things about people. You, you're like the biggest dick of all on the phones to people. And and you're pissed because I made one joke. What was the joke even? I, I don't even know. remember. And Nobody I apologize to you. And I apologize to you. Now I'm taking my apology back. And I want one from you. You or- should see Gary get... I can't figure Eric the actor out because... Uh, Gary got a two-page letter from Eric directed at Johnny Frado, his agent. And, and truly. Yeah, and truly. I get everything that Gary gets. But- yeah. Gary has to filter all of this stuff? Well, Gary gets... Car- like, it's not meant for Gary. It's meant for Johnny Frado, but Eric C. sees him on it. Oh, I see. And... <laughs> Gary started reading it to me. It's like this dense two-page letter about how Johnny Frotto is failing Eric <laughs> and how Johnny better... I, I don't know if it's a bit. And it's Read some of that shit. I mean, what, give me the synopsis, Gary, because it goes on and on and on. It starts off with Eric explaining to Johnny that um, he's very tired on these appearances, right. that Johnny needs to be more available, that maybe Johnny could skip going to the Rainbow Room one night and be more, just be available via phone for Eric. Uh, the trips are long. Uh, Eric's in a lot of pain, so he needs extra money for uh, pain pads and you know things that he puts on. What's a pain pad? Like some of those things you get from the drugstore and you slap them on and they warm or they cool. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, nobody blames Johnny for all of this. <laughs> well, Johnny didn't get him the pad. Jo- see, jo- right. Johnny's the manager. Johnny, Eric shouldn't. Uh, have to ask for a patch, Johnny should be there holding them. That's, wants, that's what I get at. He wants Johnny to pay for those things. Right, See, right. Jan is the guy who's supposed to get those things. Right. right. Then, then um, he's, uh, it goes into a whole long winded thing about how he's pissed off at Shuli, how Shuli made him look like a bad person, but if he goes out to do these appearances and people see he's not the same person. But the one that really made me laugh was the, this whole long thing about business and everything, and then there's a second one. Oh, yeah, Johnny, I forgot something. Jan reminded me, uh, we discussed that you should be combing the crowd for my groupies. And that they would go back to the room with me. <laughs> oh so I can't God. tell like if this is a goof or not. Eric, is that for real? That Johnny should be combing the crowd for your groupies? Yes. <laughs> groupies. <laughs> They're Eric groupies. But don't you think that's demeaning to Johnny to have to sit there and comb the crowd for your groupies? I mean, honestly, <laughs> I don't know if you're serious or not. <laughs> Why is there an S on the end of groupies? You're, you're expecting <laughs> quite a lot. I can't tell if Eric's for real or it's a shtick. Hello? Hello. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just wondering if uh, you've got Johnny on to explain his part. Now, Johnny's tapped out, dude. I talked to Johnny over the weekend. He is. He said he woke up this week to an angry voice. He goes, I woke up to a little person yelling at me about missing the 10-year anniversary on this show of calling in. Eric just called. I don't think possibly. Eric's for real. I think Eric knows there's no groupies. And I mean, Eric, if you had groupies, don't are you, think- you serious? I think he really means this. Eric, don't you think your groupies would have kind of contacted you and gotten involved with you there? You wouldn't have to comb the crowd. No, groupies are pretty. They make themselves known. Eric has shy groupies. Why? I mean, Eric, didn't you get enough attention at this last? I saw some of those pictures. Johnny, you got reamed in this two-page letter. Johnny? Yeah, I'm here. I said you got reamed in the two-page letter. He does think he has groupies, by the way. That's A. <laughs> B, look at how many fucking patches he want. If, if, if he would be the mummy if he got all the patches. For the, plus, Howard, you got to explain to him. Those patches aren't good. They put something in your system or something. Why at this you know, point, they're, 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 Johnny? They're like aspirin in them or something. Why at this point are you still involved with Eric? That's what I mean. Do you enjoy it on some level, or do you enjoy the notoriety? 
heard, you know what, it's, it's like, it's like anything that you get, you know what I mean? It's kind of like I went to, I went to a part, and there are times that he can be nice. But, you know, this last fucking, this last fucking six months has just been horrifying. And I've been telling him that. And then what do you do? You get calls at home where he's like yelling at you that you don't get groupies for him? He calls me, he calls me 30 fucking times a day, no matter what I'm doing. If I hang up, he'll call back in like three minutes. If I tell him I'm, I'm in a fucking shower, he'll call back in one. Is that I true, Eric? I'm telling you. Maybe. <laughs> Eric, you didn't ask me to play basketball with my son. You said you were playing basketball with your son, and Eric just kept I was playing basketball with my son. And Eric says you sh I should be working on his son, uh, stuff instead of playing basketball with my son. Does Eric understand? There's no money in working for him. Like you would well, make that's because Johnny's not working he hard enough. He does understand that. He does understand that. And that you'd be oh, bankrupt if you really were his manager. You know, he get oh, he'd be, uh, oh, my God. You know, the other night I went to that show to Ronnie's block party. And he tried to put me to work. First, he invites me, and I told him, Eric, I'm not going to, I can't spend a lot of time there. I'm going to stop, and I'm say hello to you, and I'd like to see Ronnie and all of that. It was a wonderful turnout, a great show. And he started on me right a fucking way. I mean, that that second, you know, talking about groupies. I thought we were just talking about groupies. I wasn't aware that we were talking about your groupies. Now, uh, I thought we were talking about Led Zeppelin and shit like that. So you know, maybe like, maybe you know, what he wants you to do is pressure yeah. a few girls into sleeping with him. Yeah. Maybe there, wouldn't have, there wouldn't have been any need for a group if you had shown up with the two people that you said you were going to show up with. What's that all about? He wants the two porn stars that were at the Viper Room. Right. Well, no, one was there. The other wasn't. <laughs> well... So if you had showed I think up with killed the... themselves. <laughs> 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 I mean, if Eric, he, if he had showed up with the the Viper Room girls, he wouldn't have needed yeah. groupie. Right. Yeah. That, so he was all ready just... for girls. So Eric, you were disappointed that Johnny showed up without the Viper Room girls because that might have been sex for you. I was hoping. Yeah. And, but you yeah, blame Johnny. Yeah, got himself already. But you know, Johnny's not a pimp. He can't. He can't just get women to sleep with you. You understand that? No. Yeah. All right. <laughs> he, he doesn't get that, Howard. You really need to push that issue there. Yeah. But he doesn't get it. I mean, if, and Howard, if, I'm gonna tell you something about Ronnie's voice, okay? Yeah. I don't know what the fuck he did to his voice, but that night at the uh, that night at the at the at the block party. He gets so loud. Yeah. I mean, there's like a thousand people there. He doesn't even need the microphone. I know. It's, it's and, unreal. And, and it's like, it's like that woman on, 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 uh, on, uh, Austin Powers. When he screams, you know, like you, all, you cringe. Yeah, like it no, gets it's, real, it's, it gets real squealy. It's really yeah. weird. Yeah, it's bad. He's he, hearing. I think he's got a problem with his hearing. It's unreal. All right. Hey, guys, I got to go anyway. I got to get Sour Shoes set up. He's going to be the house band and all of that. All right, Eric? I, I, I can't get into all this now. Okay. Yeah. Tell him, Howard. I'm not a pimp. Get me yeah. out of the pimp business. Yeah, I, I think he gets it now. No, him, think? no pimp. All right, Eric. Good luck. And surely apologize. All right. All right. Bye. Hey. He's giving Johnny all the vices. <laughs> Bye, Eric. Bye. Yeah. Get me women. And we get in, uh, involved because we get all the emails back and forth between those right. two. And it's really hysterical, but it's almost to the point that you don't believe it. You know, like maybe I, it's a I feel sad that, you know, he yeah. went out there expecting not only to see all the guys and to meet fans, he expected to get laid.